Hey, my name is Daniel Mesa, and I was just wondering, have you ever tried to think about drama in the Bible? Like how that might look, what God might think about it? Well, I have, and you know, for many years as a pastor in the Seventh-day Adventist Church, I had always heard that drama was bad. Drama was a bad thing. And I was like, okay, but that doesn't make sense to me. And the reason why it doesn't make sense to me is because of examples, like witnesses from the Bible. You have Ezekiel in chapter 4. You could read the entire chapter and realize that, wow, God actually asked Ezekiel to dramatize an illustration for his people. Well then, in chapter 20 of Isaiah, you realize that God had asked Isaiah to literally walk around naked for three years without shoes on his feet and without loincloth. You know, you're wondering, okay, what's that about? Well, you can read why it's there. You can also see that in the sanctuary, God had laid it out very clearly for his people to be able to exemplify him and his characteristics, his plan for salvation in all of the sanctuary service. In fact, they came to the point where men were asked to represent Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And it was that way because what was happening is God was trying to illustrate the salvation of man in so many different ways. And so the high priest was actually representing Jesus Christ, dressed up like him, acting like him, etc. Well, then the, the fourth witness, not only do we have Ezekiel, Isaiah, and the full sanctuary, but the fourth witness would be from the pioneer era. Sister Ellen White was able to write in, notice the year now, 1888 about her granddaughter who had dressed up for a Sabbath school class, which was a play. Her granddaughter was an angel. And she represented that to be a great thing that could have been done even better. Anyways, take a look at the notes that you'll find at revelationwithdaniel.com slash drama. And please let me know by commenting there or even here what thoughts you might have in regard to drama. This is not saying that everything dramatized is good because there's a lot of evil, but certainly I think we've been misled by some of the commentators and uh, how would you say compilers? Maybe that have looked at Sister White's writings and have not looked at them balanced. Anyways, um, we can say that not everything drama is good, but not everything drama is bad either. So let's try to find out the balance and the truth regarding how God has used drama to illustrate many things in his own personal activities through his people. All right, God bless.